morning to Madam Fazida, and we are here to present our project Sanitary Namkin Vending Machine using QR code. And I'm Vinita Vijayan, and I'm going to present about introduction, scope, objective, and organization. Our purpose of this project to see benefit of vending machine using QR code and evaluate the knowledge of menstruation and menstrual hygiene among women, especially in emergency. By using this QR code vending machine, the consumer makes payment by using the QR code to buy a product and it also a faster method by scanning the QR code. Our main objective is to bring awareness for improving menstrual hygiene among women in the UTEM and encourage go for a cashless system. I myself experienced this tragedy where sometimes we forget to bring sanitary namkin and start to ask our friends. Do you guys experience? And on that time, there is no nearest shop. So as a woman, we came out this creative technology which only gives benefit to the needs of society. Our main scope to fulfill women daily needs at different location in UTEM by upgrading the system using QR code. We collected responses in UTEM by distributing a questionnaire via Google form to the student from different faculties. Our organization is providing convenience to, for students through allocating more vending machines at different locations in UTEM. This project has two sections, which is Section 1 and Section 2. Section 1 is to inv investigate the suitable location to provide service which will bring convenience for students. And for the Section 1, my friend Ikwani, she will explain more detail about this. And for section two, to investigate the advantage of using mobile apps that will bring benefit to the students. And now I will pass my slide to my friend Ikwani. Thank you. Thank you for Benita. Next slide. Methodology. Hi, my name is Wani. Here I want to explain the methodology of our topic. The first point of methodology is quantitative technique. We using the majority data to prove the result. The primary technique for collecting the quantitative data was a self-development developed in the questionnaire. What I trying to understand here is the quantitative technique are related to questionnaire. Next, the second point is questionnaire. Based on the questionnaire, it had contains item of different format which have multiple choice question. One or more option question, close ended question and open ended question. What we know the closest ended question are usually in the format of yes or no. Where, where open ended question leave the answer entirely up the respondent and therefore provide a greater range of response. The first part is about the demographic background of the respondent. The demographic background is about gender, faculty and address. After that, for the second part about the regarding the society needed, it consists of three courses and question and three open ended question. This part talk about the regarding the society need to feminine hygiene product winding machine. So from here we provided the result using the majority of data for respondent. The third point is random sampling. We choose 20 survey randomly from each faculty in UTEM. We also the we also do a survey for College Kedama Satria and the study in UTEM. In this project, we had given out the questionnaire through 
online questionnaire by using Google Form. The questionnaire is more straightforward, straightforward and easy to answer. In the questionnaire, we are also require respondents to give their opinion about the feedback of their talk. After distributing the questionnaire to respondent, the data were collected from the questionnaire. Lastly, the research limitation are also the point of methodology. The most sample is collected in UTEM. We focus only on fem, uh, female student only. This is because female student may be refused to speak about the feminine hygiene product. That's all from me. Next, I pass to Zida. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Wani. Uh, my name is Mazratu Mazida binti Mohamed Zahari, and today I will present uh, the result for this presentation. So, uh, based on survey that had been conducted, there were 22 respondents involved. The result for part A, for pie chart A, uh, the respondent had been asked about their awareness of the menstruation cycle and hygiene. So uh, majority of them were from FKEKK and the minority were from FTMK. Uh, but pie chart for uh, the B uh, were asked about unexpected menstrual cycle when in public place. So many of uh, the respondents answered uh, they have been dealt with this unexpected situation. So due to this, uh, many of them felt trouble for not carrying sanitary uh, napkin. So, okay, next uh, for part B, uh, for the pie chart A, uh, the respondent has been uh, asked about their response to our uh, sanitary napkin vending machines in women toilet. Uh, 90.5% respond uh, were yes because they feel this will help them when the urgent need sanitary napkins due to the unexpected situations. So, okay, the second pie chart, uh, the preference type of sanitary napkin. So as a woman, we had our uh, suitable type of uh, sanitary napkin. So majority of them uh, prefer for wearing overnight pad to prevent over leak. And the minority uh, use ultra thin for their suitable uh, skin and uh, based on their sensitivity at uh, their area part. Okay, thank you. So the next slide will be continued by Linda. Okay, thank you Zida. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Nor Fazniza Nazirinda Binti Muhammad Nordin and here I will be presenting about discussion. Discussion have two parts. The first part is to provide convenience for women and for the, the second part is to upgrade vending machine system by using QR code. Okay, next. For the first part, to provide convenience for women. Okay, uh, first point, we live in a society of convenience. Over a billions of these non-composable sanitary pads are making their ways into several systems, landfill, fields, and water body every month. Long-lasting, comfortable, stem-free and affordable are the thoughts that come in to every woman's mind when they, she pick up a disposal sanitary napkin. Of course, modern days, menstrual pads and tampons definitely have made, made feminine hygiene easier and more convenient. For the second point, for the devastating effect on the environment, what doesn't occur to most women is that just as more convenient thing, they have a devastating effect on the environment as well as women health. Most of them contain chemical, toxin, additive, and synthetic materials such as plastic. 
The plastic, first of all, takes a very long time to break down. Second, they also end up leaking into nature and polluting our rivers, lake, stream, and world. For the third point, by installing sanitary napkin dispensing machine in public bathroom and school, we hope that it can foster habits that help improve menstrual hygiene. As often, women committed don't change their sanitary napkin till they get from home to uh, from their work, market, or school. Next. For the second part, to upgrade vending machine system by using QR code. With the introducing the sanitary making dispensing machine with QR code will make the woman feel more convenient and save time for them in the emergency menstrual time. The first point is QR code were deployed by marketer to connect the offline or praying world to the digital one. Advertiser include a QR code in a magazine advertisement, hoping that the reader will scan the code and be forwarded to a uh, form to get more information or perhaps even to buy the product. For the second point is, uh, as nowadays, many payments can be made with QR as is easier and safe time. And the familiarity one end when consumers see the, the opportunity to pay via a QR code. Okay, for the last point is, millions of consumers are becoming more and more comfortable with why the method of QR code payment might not have made inroad in their own personal payment usage. Okay, next, I will pass to Fatin Isfahani for the conclusion. Thank you. Thank you, Nazinda, for the best explanation. My name is Fatino Isfahani Binti Ramli. My part, my part for, the, for this presentation is conclusion. As mentioned earlier in the introduction, the purpose of this project is to find out the benefits of a vending machine using QR code that is supported by technology and evaluate the knowledge of menstruation and menstrual hygiene management among school and college girls. The objective has been achieved through structure questionnaires which were distributed to, to the UTEM female student from each hostel. The findings are based on the analysis of data collected from, from questionnaires. There are two parts in the questionnaires, which is part A, and part B. Okay, next. In the questionnaires, part A is to collect background data from respondents who are a female student in UTEM and to allocate which faculty and hostel need the sanitary napkin vending machine and based on address and based on the address that we collect from the data we can conclude that the most suitable place to allocate the sanitary vending machine using QR code, QR code in all faculties and hostel in UTEM. From part A, we discover that the most of the UTEM female students stay in the hostel provided by UTEM and more female students in FK, FKEKK faculties. Besides, UTEM female students give the rate of overall age between 20 to 25, which is good for improving menstrual hygiene amongst women in the UTEM, and encourage go for a cashless system suitable with the nowadays technologies. So in a part A, we can, we can conclude based on address, based on age, and based on faculty. Next. Okay, part B. Next, we go to questionnaires part B. In the questionnaires is to discover about the society needs for feminine hygiene product, which is, san which is a sanitary vending machine using QR code that will bring benefits to the students. 
from part B, we found that the most of the U10 female students face the troublesome of not carrying sanitary napkins and suddenly have a menstrual cycle in a public place. Most of them need, a, need to find a nearby shop or, or supermarket that is not good at all. The rate of the overall justified most of the students experience unexpected menstrual, menstrual cycle when in the public. More than 19, 19 of U10 students are interested to have a sanitary vending machine using QR code and this confirmed that the vending machine will bring benefit to them. In part B, we can conclude that the sanitary vending machine using QR code can help provide sanitary when, un when unexpected menstrual cycle among female students. So far, the objective of this project are achieved. However, the finding of the, of the study are limited among students on the, on the campus of UTEM, as the study is based only on the student on the main campus and stay in, in hostel. This, this, re this research, this research is extremely timely and, and important as the information derived is useful to the UTEM in providing sanitary vending machine using QR code. So we can, so as a conclusion, we, we recommend that further research be conducted to add on the more useful vending machine in the facilities in UTEM. Okay, that. so for the respect, for the reference, we have five reference, one from Rotary Club of Kalyan, one uh, and Rotary Club of Panaji, Shabanan Tamboli and Athena. This for reference, we took for sanitary napkin vending machine and one more from an AYAS. We took a reference to mobile payment with QR codes. So there are five references that we took and I think that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.